This is the Think Maths Guide to Solving the Rubik's Cube, Steps 4 and 5. Step 4. The Cross Maker. OK, so now your cube is almost done. Well, you've done two thirds, I guess. You've done the top layer is all correct, the middle layer is all correct. All you need to do now is fix this last uh, yellow face. And unfortunately, this is where it does get slightly more complicated because to move these last few blocks around, you need to be very careful you don't disturb everything else. So in fact, all the sequences now get a little bit longer because you're putting back any damage down here as well as moving around the ones on the top. Uh, and the first step for this face, just like way back when we started with the white, is to get a cross in the middle. And as you can see, we haven't got a cross here, we've got a line. You can completely ignore the corners for now. So we want to turn this line into a cross. In fact, there are two different options you could be faced with. You can either have a line there, or you might have like a V in the corner. So you're going to have one of these two, well, you might be lucky and already have the whole cross done, in which case you can just skip to the next step. If you're not that lucky, it's going to be one of these cases, either the V in the corner or the line. Uh, now there's a sequence called the cross maker, well I call it the cross maker, uh, and it turns either of these into the cross. And there's one cross maker for the V, cross maker V, or one cross maker for the line, cross maker L for line or because it does look a bit like an L. Okay, so uh, they're very, very similar and I'll show you how they work. Both of them start uh, with you hold the cube, so you've either got the V up in the top left hand corner or you've got the line going uh, straight across. You then get, uh, so this is, I'm doing all this with this is the up face. You then get the one, the front one facing you and you go clockwise. That's the same for both of them. Now, for the line, you take the right first and go clockwise, and then the up and go clockwise, and then you undo them in that order. You take the right and go anti-clockwise, you take the face and go anti-clockwise. And then uh, last but not least, you need to fix this side over here, so that is anti-clockwise back into its original position. And there you are, you've got your cross on top, and you haven't disturbed anything else underneath. Uh, the same sequence for the V. The cross maker V is you start and once again you go clockwise on the front. But now, instead of going right first then up, you just go up first then right. So it's up first clockwise, then right clockwise, then you undo them in the same order. So it's up, back anti-clockwise, right, back anti-clockwise, and then you move the last one back over into position. And so that, the cross maker takes either the V or the line and turns it into a cross. Uh, the only other situation you might come across is occasionally you will get none of it done. You will just have that one single one in the middle. And this is actually a combination of the two, kind of. So it doesn't matter, you can choose. You can do cross maker V or cross maker L. It doesn't make a difference, I'm going to do L, why not? Uh, and then you end up with, ah, there we go, so it's now become a V. And so if you do cross maker V or L, you will end up with one of the two other situations, and from there you know what to do to turn it into the cross. Step five, the corner spin. Okay, so you've now got the yellow cross on this face, everything else is still fine. Uh, your next step is to get these corner pieces in the right places, and so, uh, we're going to ignore the orientation at the moment. So you can see this corner here is the yellow, blue, orange. And it's actually in the correct place because this is the yellow, blue, orange corner. So that's where it should be. It's facing the wrong way, but it's in the right place. And for now, we don't care about which way it's facing. We can fix that later. We just need to get it in the right place. The problem is none of the other ones are in the right place. This is the green and red, and it's over here, and the orange and green. This is the red and blue, and it's over here between red and green. And over here we have the green and orange between red and blue. Okay, so none of the rest are, are any good. That's the only correct one. You need to find a situation where you've got at least two of them in the correct positions. And there will be a place. It's, it's impossible for there not to be a way to get at least two correct. If you're lucky, you'll accidentally have all four in the correct position, and at that point you can just, uh, well, you can just move on to the next step. For us though, uh, if I put the orange blue one in the correct corner, the rest don't line up. So now I work my way uh, back to the next one, and I go around uh, in order so I don't lose track, so I'm going to try the uh, green, 
orange one if I put green orange in the correct corner let's have a look at the others that's now in the wrong corner because it's red blue and it's between orange and blue uh, this one's in the wrong corner because it's orange blue and that one's in the wrong corner okay so I'm going to go back around to the next one let's try blue red I put blue red in the correct corner aha okay so now I've got red green in the correct corner as well so these are both correct these two here are wrong unfortunately but if these two are correct all I have to do is swap these two uh, and in fact there's a thing well, I call the corner spin sequence and it spins these two around and so what you do is you get the cube uh, you have again the yellow one is the up face the two you want to spin are on your right and then you do this corner spin sequence and you start with the left and you go clockwise the take the up go anti-clockwise take the right go anti-clockwise which is the same way down as we started uh, and then you start kind of undoing it so you take the top one and you go back up clockwise you take uh, the left and you go back up anti-clockwise uh, you then take the top one again and you go anti-clockwise you then take the right one and you go back up clockwise and then you finish it all off with a 180 degree spin of the top one so I'm going to call it and why not two, two clockwise to do 180, it doesn't matter. And so you can see over here, the red green is still in the correct place, the red blue is still in the correct place, but now these have swapped. So the green orange is in the correct place and the orange blue is in the correct place and we haven't ruined anything else. So we've now got all the corners in the correct place. Uh, the only other thing that might happen is sometimes when you're checking the corners, you get a situation like this. And here you can see that we have the red blue is in the correct corner. Uh, this one is in the wrong corner because that's red green and it should be orange blue. This one's in the wrong corner because it's orange blue and it should be red green. But this one over here is in the correct corner. So now the diagonally opposite ones are in the correct corner. That's a bit annoying. So to do that, you have to do the corner spin sequence twice. And you start with it this way, so you've got this one's correct and that one's correct. You then do the corner spin sequence that I showed you a second ago. Now one, two. I ignore the fact this all happens to line up, because as you can see, it's still a bit of a train wreck around here. Uh, and now, uh, let's have a look. It, there will now be the situation where two of them are in the correct position. So let's check the red-green first. Nope, that's wrong, that's wrong, let's check the red-blue, that goes over there, uh, that's wrong, that's wrong, let's check the green-orange, uh, that's right, okay, so now these are both correct, uh, these ones here are in the wrong spots, so I do the corner spin on them, and I end up with, here we go, so now I've got all the corners in their correct positions, but admittedly, still the wrong orientation.